It is definitely that time of year for pumpkin recipes. I've got an easy and delicious snack for you today that reminds me of pumpkin pie, only much healthier. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel. I'm so happy you're here exploring new healthy recipes to support your health and your loved one's health. Today, we're going to be making spiced pumpkin oat cashew bites. Let's begin by adding one half of a cup of cashew butter to your food processor. If you'd like to make your own cashew butter, I'm going to show you how to do that today. It's so easy. And in this case, you'll want to add one cup of cashews to your food processor. Pulse a few times and then let it run for five to seven minutes until you reach a creamy consistency, scraping down the sides as needed. At first, you will have a crumbly mixture, but with patience, it will turn into a smooth and creamy cashew butter. Now we are ready to add in one half of a cup of pumpkin puree, which is rich in dietary fiber, so that helps support a healthy digestion. Also potassium, which is great for your blood pressure. One half of a cup of either walnuts, pecans, or macadamia nuts. All three are rich in healthy fats and protein. The sweetener I'm going to use today is one third of a cup of agave nectar. Now you can substitute this with one third of a cup of honey, date syrup, or maple syrup. Another fiber rich ingredient we are adding is two tablespoons of ground flax seeds. If possible, I recommend grinding the flax seeds right before using to keep them as fresh as possible and then add them to your food processor. For some warming spices, I am adding one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, one teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon, and one quarter teaspoon of pink Himalayan or sea salt. Our last ingredient is two cups of gluten-free rolled oats. Pulse and process until you reach a dough-like consistency with all of the ingredients well incorporated throughout. You may need to scrape down the bottom of the processor if you made homemade cashew butter like I did, just to make sure it gets distributed into the dough. Scoop and roll the dough into balls. I'm using a one and a half tablespoon ice cream scooper, which made 20 cashew bites total. If the dough is too sticky, simply stick it in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes to help it firm up just a bit. Okay, we're ready to give these a taste. They smell so good. These bites, my friends, are perfectly delicious. The pumpkin is very subtle. The spices as well are nice and subtle, but you can taste them. You definitely taste the oats, a little bit of the cashews, but it all just blends together so nicely. And they're chewy, which is great, because every time you take a bite and take the time to really chew up your food, you're helping your digestion so much. So I love to have food that takes a little bit of time to chew, and it's just helping everything with all that dietary fiber. Mmm, delicious and nutritious. Thanks so much for being here and thanks for being a part of our community. We appreciate you. I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Bye-bye.